Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now I'm about to go into a thrift store and I'm also shopping for my new found color season, which is deep winter. I don't really look at this as like rules for me to follow where I'm really strict and I don't still have fun because I just really love the way the colors complement me and I still wear colors out of my color season if I really like the item or I will get something and just dye it. I only have an hour and a half in the store. Also, they don't have a dressing room, so it's a little bit like annoying, but it's totally fine. I just wear leggings and something tight. I actually have on this like Gymshark like, skin tight crop top and I actually have this satin scarf. It's kind of decorative. I really like it, but I just put this over my head and pull and it won't ruin my hair so that's a little hack if you have curly hair so enough blabbering let's go inside so far i found two tops this one very bright and this one i like the round details we'll see about the sleeves though i'm not too sure and then some accessories I'm making a next stop. I didn't expect this. There's this church that does clothing sales and it says like new with tags and I'm gonna see what this is all about. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Like I pass this place all the time. They're always having events and I never go because I just forget. So I'm very excited. So I made it back home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I am so excited. I'm gonna walk you through each piece and why I bought it and hopefully give you some information or strategy on how to thrift better. We'll see. I'm just excited to chat. So up first we have this really satiny robe and this print first of all is so gorgeous. I usually stay away from printed things but this just looks so ancient kind of like stained glass it's kind of moroccan in a way and i love that the sleeves are short because nothing gets in my way i don't like having things too long um i know it's a thing for people to be cozy but i don't want things in my way i do want to add a tie right here because since it's so silky it just kind of opens up and the one detail i really like about this is the rounded hems like it's kind of like a tulip up next is this top. It's by Candies, so it has to be pretty old because this just brings me back to like 10 years ago or more. So very Y2K. I got this because it just reminds me of fairy clothes. I do think I'd like it better without the pink underneath because, I don't know, that's just what I envision. It does hit at my hips, which isn't, you know, ideal, but like that already looks better, but then I lose the detail of the bottom, which I really like. I do have to go in and kind of take care of a couple of the sequins. Now we have this. This is a top, and as you can see, it's very big. I think it's like an XL, but I love the fabric. It's very like flowy and light, so I got this simply to make it into something else. I'm not sure what, if I'm doing a two-piece set or if I'm going to like alter it and make it like lace up. I am going to remove this elastic right here because I don't like it. But, I mean, it's beautiful and in my color season. And this right here gives me plenty of fabric to play with like sleeves. I could even do like off the shoulder if I wanted to. I don't know what I'm doing. And also the hem is kind of handkerchief, which is just <laughs> so fairy. Next up is this top. It's from American Eagle originally. As you can see, it's like very Renaissance fair, but luxurious. So that's why I got it. And it's in this crushed velvet, which just, you know, moves so beautifully. It has the ties, which I can tie up. And it's actually cut in a way that it won't move too much. Like, it's crazy. This can be belted or tucked in. This screams pirate, but I may have a little bit of money to buy myself something fancy. I get this top, so. Now is this top, which is absolutely huge, but the fabric couldn't leave her behind. So as you can see, there's like sequins. It's velvet, but it's laser cut. It's just magical and so much fabric to work with. Like I said before, I buy things in bigger sizes so I can like rework them if I want to. I think this is a size large because I got the same thing in a small earlier today. So now I have two 
It's by Coldwater Creek. And I'm very excited because I already knew that I was going to be afraid to rework this piece because I don't want to mess up, but now I have two. This can be more of a shirt and then this I can make into other things. I don't know, but I'm so excited. Up next is this dress. It's from Old Navy originally and it's a size small, but because of the raglan cut, it doesn't look like it's too big. I mean, maybe it does, but I really don't care. I have had it belted. Um, I basically wore this all last weekend. I'm not joking you, every single day. Um, not for the whole day, but I just love it so much. It's the color. I've never purchased anything in this color and it's like a dark teal. It looks more blue I'm seeing, but it's a teal and it just gives me life. And a color like this goes so well with say a cognac, which I did wear a cognac pair of boots with it and it just looks so good, like the rich colors. It was a very cottage core moment for me. This is the last thing from that trip. It's a maxi dress. It's from Old Navy. It also has pockets. I'm just very excited about these pockets. Also a size small and I just love these kinds of dresses but I've never owned one. I've been avoiding buying black things but this is just a piece that is so versatile that I couldn't, you know, leave it behind. Again, it's kind of short right here so nothing gets in my way and it has this little floral design on it all over the place. This actually does hit at my waist so I'm not sure if I'm going to add ties so I can tie it back and it'll be more fitted. Like that just looks so good. Does it not? And then these buttons are my favorite kinds of buttons. The ones that are kind of with an elastic that go like this. I love those. And I will say the length of this dress is just perfect for me. Like I'm not gonna trip. And if I want to, I could even like do a little pin situation, but the length is awesome. So I actually lied about that being the last piece. This is the last piece from that Google haul. And as you can see, it is a very large skirt, but it's 100% linen and I really love the flow. So the flow of the skirt is just so beautiful. It's unlined, but it's fine. I'll just put a little half slip. I'm also not sure if I'm going to do pleats or just cut this whole thing off. We shall see, but the length is actually like perfect. It's not at my widest part of my calf, but just, just a little bit below. And also the zipper is perfect. Like it lays flat. I always hate it when these kinds of invisible zippers are like wonky. It's just horrible. So this right here is an item I got today and it's like a bodycon dress. I would not be wearing this like a bodycon dress. I'm probably going to cut it into a tank top and then do something with the rest of the fabric. I don't know. We'll, we'll get there when I get there. But I like the fact that it's not sheer. I love the lace trim. I like how it has these cups so it looks kind of corset-ish but it's Clearly not. I also want to mention that I actually have a folder in my phone that helps me when I shop. So I use these color palettes and let me see if I can zoom in on the color. This color right here is very similar to this. So that's why I'm trying it. Up next is this skirt. It goes so well with this top and it's tiered. So clearly I had to get it. The length is great. It's not too short. I actually don't have a skirt like this in this length. I also love the color. It's a cool tone brown. So I'm getting back into brown. I was avoiding it because um, I just felt like I had wrong browns. Like for instance, this is an alphalete legging and this is a warm brown. So I just don't feel right in these anymore, um, but I still wear them. But as you can see, this is just cool toned. As much as I love bright colors, I still love natural type you know, earth tones. Up next is this top, and I did not try this on, I forgot to, but it's pretty comfy. It's not skin tight. I love a lettuce hem, but I don't own too many things with it, so it's a cute little addition, and also on the sleeves. And what inspired this is actually this tank top. So last year, I thought I was a bright spring, and this like bright color was the first thing that I purchased to try out that color season words are very difficult right now and so with this i thought it's definitely cool toned it's bright and i can definitely like flip flop in between those color palettes if i want to and i just think it like complements me i would never have picked anything like this before learning about color seasons so 
I'm having fun with color. Now we have this jacket or blazer, whatever you want to call it. It's by Loft, it's a size zero petite. And when I saw it, I thought I have to buy it <sighs> just because it's my size. <laughs> I have really bad luck with getting coats, especially blazers. And the fact that it's corduroy kind of velvet and it has the little buttons like this. Oh my god, and it's just one button. And this may not be completely my style, but I always want to have some type of like fitted coat or jacket in my closet. And I haven't had one. They're always like big and oversized. And now with my style evolving, I can always add pins, um, which is something I've been doing to my wool coats or my light jackets. And yeah, that just helps me incorporate it into my style because this is just so plain. But once I add a bit of pizzazz, I'm like, yes, I want to wear that simply because it's just more fun or like wizardy. <laughs> and Taylor Loft. This next top is a bit interesting. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the arms are just so uncomfortable. What's happening? What's happening? <gasps> what did I buy? That's what I want to know. This is full on a costume. I don't know what kind of clothing this is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what did I just buy? It just looks so weird that I was like, I need it. <laughs> All right. This is so bad. I didn't know this was a thing. Like it's, it's a curved, so it makes you look like a, a big circle. I can always fix it, but will I be able to move? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> That was fun. It's future me. I forgot this top. So here it is. It's a bit snug on the arms, but there are buttons that I can undo and it's very soft. And I actually love where this hits. This is what convinces me that I am a soft gamine, but I'm actually not sure like if I'm a theatrical romantic or a soft gamine. But I just love this kind of like high neck but it can still be a little bit open. And then some texture right here, I just love it. This is actually blue, and I thought that it was black, but it's fine. I did find some really fun jewelry. First up is this set of earrings. I like how this kind of goes like underneath. I've never worn anything like that. This next set was a dollar, which is so cute. Let me see. These ones were $2. I love the mixed metal and the wooden beads. It's just very pirate-like to me. And then I got three rings, and I hope these are stainless steel, but I don't know. It's definitely, what does that say? This first ring in the middle, it's from New York & Company. It said NYC on the inside, and it's not my size, but I got it to use as a scarf loop. And since it's a bigger size, it like works so perfectly. I did it with my scarf, and it kind of looks like horseshoe so that's pretty cool the one in the middle is a dollar fifty it's a feather and i don't know where it's from but it's just so fun i'm really happy that i'm getting more into like silver style jewelry and then this one oh, this one's so cool also a dollar fifty it's a crown i love it so this is the last thing i'm going to show you as far as clothing goes it was 50 cents from Target, Wild Fable, and you can wear it this way or backwards, but I got it because I knew that it could be an item I could use to cinch things. For instance, this top. And it's so comfortable. It's very stretchy. I'm not sure if I'll ever wear it the other way, but who knows. I've been getting more into layering, so I'm also looking for things that can be used in multiple ways. And this one was like, yes definitely checks all the boxes. And last two items are kind of home things, or not really. I found this table runner, which is gorgeous. It does have like a couple little stains on it, but I'm not even sure I'll be using this as a table runner. I just got this because this fabric is so pretty, the embroidery. I just love embroidery. It's kind of Slavic in a way. And then this is a dollar. It's a twin bed sheet but it's also fabric. So I'm going to try to make like a dress or something out of it because it's a lot of fabric, which is expensive. This cool toned gingham is going to be perfect for like a cottage core type of milkmaid dress. 
We'll see if I actually get there. I'm very intimidated by them, but I'm gonna try my best. So that's all that I got. I'm very excited to get started with sewing. I have been doing a lot of research on like free patterns and I want to make a pattern for a corset of my own body. Hopefully I'll get to that later. I'm excited for these new pieces in my wardrobe because it just is reinvigorating that piece of myself. It loves clothes, it loves fashion, but I also want to be sustainable and have fun searching for things, especially materials and items that just look different and just more for me. So I am just refining myself and I hope you guys found this inspirational or just fun. Let me know what kind of style you have or like what you're trying to incorporate more of into your own wardrobe. I'd love to hear it and thank you for watching. I'm like having a magical day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.